expression? Freddy's a 34-year-old brand. It was founded in 1976 by Carlo Freddy. They're still very active in the business as president today. And we still have very much the Latin flair, but we wanted to have a Latin flair in terms of which you can see through the product engine, but also to have um, an international DNA running through the brand. So I think it's a very dynamic company, very proactive. We can make decisions very, very quickly if we see a need to make that decision because we're not overlaid by corporate structure. So we can, we can be proactive rather than reactive. Okay, our plans for 2011 is to, um, to continue to um, expand the international business. Um, my, basically, my remit was when I joined the company three and a half years ago was to, to expand on the international landscape of the business because historically very strong in the Italian home market and over the last three and a half years we've tried to, to copy paste the success of the Italian market into the international landscape. So that is, we've seen a rapid expansion of wholesale distribution together with an expansion of monobrand stores. We've opened a flagship store in Korea, Seoul. We've, we're shortly to open a store in Moscow in September of this year. We, are, we have opened a flagship store in London, in Athens, and we have plans next for Copenhagen. So it's really to consolidate the landscape internationally. In terms of existing markets for greatest potential, um, Korea, Russia, UK and Germany seem to be all reporting a similar type of feedback in terms of positive sell-through, similar consumer demographic, similar brand adjacencies in the distribution channels. So we're very optimistic that we seem to be getting a real pan-European flavour to the brand. In terms of new markets that are on our radar, we're, we're in due diligence now with a company in China. Uh, we would like to, to explore opportunities in the, in the Brazilian market. Uh, I would say that those two primarily are targets. The US is also very much on our radar, but it is a case of, because Freddy now is, in the last three years, has opened in 16 international markets, we don't want to lose sight of the markets that we have by continuing to open new. So it's protecting what we have and building upon the success of what we have in those 16 markets whilst trying to find other key markets to build a truly global landscape. Living celebrity wearing the Freddie brand, I think Jessica Alba, somebody of that profile that is, um, would be a perfect ambassador for the Freddie brand would be a prime choice for us. And Angelina Joni would be a prime choice for us. Charismatic, independent women with flair that represent really the product engine of our brand. So they would be two great faces to endorse our brand for sure. Probably I would be in the restaurant business. I think if I wasn't in fashion, I would like to own a chain of restaurants because I am as motivated by product as I am motivated by good food and good wine, which is synonymous anyway with an Italian brand. Okay. The proudest moment in my career, I would say that when I was working for, there are two scenarios. One is when I, was, when I set up uh, with a partner, a footwear company, called Red Goose when I was in my early 20s and it was uh, a premium footwear range targeted to, to almost like a David and Goliath scenario trying to compete with the likes of Timberland and Rockport. That was an incredible learning curve and journey for me. Outside of that I would say one of my proudest moments was that when I was general manager of Sergio Tacchini um, I repositioned Sergio Tacchini in the UK and Sergio Tacchini in 2005 was voted best menswear brand of the year and it's the only award that the company ever won so quite a proud moment for me for sure